Hello and welcome to Hypocrisy. So a couple videos ago I said that I was kind of sick of seeing a whole bunch of stuff about the LPS reboot, like that being all there is on LPS tube at the moment, but I'm in the minority and I am nothing if not a man of the people. Yeah, and I did genuinely want to do this. So I've basically given up on getting these G quote unquote seven, even though I don't believe that's really the right number, but whatever, kind of given up on them. But then I got this as a birthday present from my mom. So thanks mom. I'm grateful to get this, but I'm still gonna, I'm not gonna like lie if I don't like everything about it, I guess. I don't know. She said it was okay, so you know, whatever. I think I'm gonna be opening this guy last just simply because I don't know how to get her out without destroying the entire thing. Also, something interesting right off the bat is that this kind of smells weird. It smells very plasticky, which worries me a little bit. I know I've heard stuff about the pets smelling plasticky. I know it's not a big deal for most people, but I have pretty severe sensory issues, so like if they smell like the way this smells, I like I won't even be able to look at them close up without getting like a headache. I can see how you can steal stuff out of this. Ah! Oh, it's stuck. Oh! definitely smells like something. I know I'm making a big deal about this, but like, I know it's important for me, it's important for some people. Her neck is pretty stiff. Oh, she's a little squishy. She definitely has a, a very overwhelming smell. <laughs> I'm trying to, to describe what this smells like. It's like, if you ever bought a little rubber duck for like $2, it smells like a rubber duck. Don't really have a huge amount to say about this poodle specifically. She's all right. I don't really have much experience with this mold to know if anything's like off. Her head's very, very stiff. Not one of my favorite designs, I think, but it is. Like, it's fine. <laughs> also, we got this card and little hairbrush thing. 2023 Hasbro. These cards really remind me, I know a lot of people are saying they're like tacky, which I mean, yeah, but they have basically the same style as like the postcard pet postcards, so it's like, oh, whoa, oh, it's her. Okay, she's definitely one of the most interesting, oh, oh my God, she's so different. <laughs> I'm trying to decide whether or not I like the new mold. Seeing it in videos, I was not a fan at all, but now that I'm seeing it in person, I still don't know if I like it, but I don't dislike it either. Okay, but yeah, um, anyways. I do think her design is cute though. I'm kind of not hyped at all in this video. I'm just really, really tired today, I'm sorry. And she comes with this card and this little leaf. Oh, this guy is so pretty. For some reason when I look at him, I think like painter, like character-wise, not like Van Gogh or whatever, but like paints your house kind of painter. I don't know why I'm thinking that, but God, he's so cute. Not sure why they chose this gray here though, because there's no gray on this guy. The tail is so majestic. I'm sorry, my voice probably sounds super weird because I'm leaning down to look. I don't really know how to like articulate it right now, but just like, you know what I mean? Yeah, this is definitely my favorite so far and might end up being my favorite, like, full stop. And he comes with this card and this bucket, which really isn't beating the painter allegations at all. So. Ooh, I know who this is. Is this who I think it is? <laughs> Ugh. Oh my god. Wow, he's so... <laughs> I thought people were being dramatic with how big he is, but oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna be blunt. This isn't... This is not, like... I don't... I've never... I, yeah, I, his body and head are different colors. What is happening? Is that normal? His eye whites are white. His eye whites are the, like... This like washed out cream, that's so weird. He's, he's, he's a character, that's for sure. It's like, imagine like you're this guy and then... I don't know where it's going with that. He comes with this card and this trophy, which yeah, he's number one in size. Who's this? Oh, it's you! Oh, why did I say that in the second person? That's so embarrassing. I'm really getting whiplash going from like the poodle to the Clydesdale to the bull and then to this, like. But yeah, she's cute. I'm a little less like, ah, about her because I've been staring at the other her in the prison for like a day because I wanted to wait and open this on camera. The lack of painting on the toes kind of doesn't actually bother me that much. Yeah, the body does seem a little plain, but that's not why for me. But yeah, she's so cute. I keep saying that, but like she is. 
Again, I'm so bad at articulating my love for pets. They're just like, this is a hug. This is her card. I, this is actually kind of cute on the bed. And then she also comes with this lemonade. This unpainted ice thing is kind of really unappetizing looking. <laughs> we want to bet I get like the rabbit next for like the ultimate whiplash. <laughs> I have really, really mixed feelings. Ooh. It's cool, but it's also kind of too bug-like. It's kind of gross. Even more mixed feelings. I like it, but then I don't like it. And oh, there's a little bit of painting weirdness up here. Yeah, I feel like this would be so much better with this painted any color, which I mean, I could go ahead and do that myself if I really wanted to, but I'm not really that into little like partial customization, if you know what I mean. Like, yeah, I don't trust myself to do that well. And here's the card and the accessory it comes with. Oh, 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 hmm, this is certainly this guy. Look at the difference between the head and body color. That is not my lighting. This is bright white, this is gray. But yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of this rabbit. I think the eyes are weird. The eyes go up too high on both sides. And also this eye shine's too small. And also the blue, white, red nose, it's like, it's Clown, okay? Clown. <laughs> what I am excited about is this scarf. And here's the card. Honestly, a crazy environment now that I'm looking at. Like, that is weird as snow. Is this who I think it is? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> that guy's cute. It's very stiff turning. I really wish I had the other otter that this one's probably based on to like put them side by side. Not even so much to like compare, but I just feel like they'd be very cute together as like siblings or something. Like, I don't know. It's like you know, you're going to this new mysterious school in the woods. You know, it's got a lot of history and baggage. That's not the right word, but you know, there's maybe something a little mysterious going on. You're new and you meet these two kids and you know, the sister who I don't have, she's very outgoing and nice, and the brother's a little more quiet, but they do have your best interests at heart. And then you go ahead and you solve a mystery, and it turns out uh, your teacher uh, killed a man. <laughs> I don't know. Also, I just wanted to do this, because look at that. It really looks like he's about to fall off into the water, which I guess is fine. This is a fun thing to fidget with, actually. Ooh. Oh, I know who it's gonna be. <laughs> I've honestly always been really neutral about this guy, but now that I have him, I actually like him. Screw you! Ah, he's really cute. Maybe I'm just more of a sucker for natural colors than I thought I was. Yeah, I I like the reverse lightning. I, I like the man. I like him. This is very embarrassing, <laughs> but my filming setup is very cluttered right now, and I lost the card. Oh. He's got a little bit of marking right here, which honestly I should have higher standards, but I've only ever collected LPS secondhand, so these paint marks are like, yeah, that's what LPS have. LPS just have them. But no, that's because they're 20 years old. Yeah, I'm not really a huge fan of this design. I just, I don't like the pink. It just, it gives the illusion of, of bald. Like he's plucked. I, I hate it. <laughs> Let's do a little bit of a comparison, even though I'm not doing very good comparisons here to be honest. This guy seems to have a bit of a longer head. I think that's a pretty known thing that basic fun pets have like slightly larger heads or something. Or maybe I'm completely wrong on that. Bam. That was meant to be a high five, but it was an attack. And I wonder why YouTube thinks my videos are for children. <laughs> Here's the card and the accessory. I'm actually very excited about the fishbone accessory. I really like this accessory. I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of mileage out of it. <laughs> Found this guy's card, it fell on the floor. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, this guy's honestly really cute. In my opinion, the LPS reboot has a real problem with these eyes, like eyes pointing two different directions. That's just such a common thing. And it's like, you're not doing this on purpose. This doesn't even look intentional, but I actually kind of like it on this one. It reminds me of this stupid cat, which I really want, so. But I do like this design. I know it's very simple, but I, I like it. Another little strangulation hug to let you know that I do like this pet, even if my voice is not being very good at articulating that. <laughs> Here's the card and also the accessory, which is this like really cute toy bow, which I actually really like. I haven't been showing it, but each thing comes with a little um, checklist and it's kind of getting out of hand here. 
Ooh. Hmm. In the very beginning when only a few pets were revealed, this was one of my favorites, but definitely not really stayed that way, unfortunately. This one's like the epitome of all right <laughs> to me. The eye shines are way too small though. They're so small, like it looks kind of uncanny. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a huge fan of this mold. That's probably why I don't like it so much. I really prefer the other Corgi mold. But you've never seen this pet on my channel before, but I've owned it since like 2019. Again, I don't like this mold, so that's why. This one actually has a way squishier head, which is, yeah, it's because it's a Blythe pet, but ugh. And the accessory, does it fit very well? Yeah, it's fine. Oh, no it's not. Oh, jeez. And here's the card and accessory. I don't know why this dog is in the throne room right now. I have no idea what this is. Oh, oh! As you can tell by my reaction, I am way more excited for this one than I thought I was going to be. It's just been like the worst version of the original chameleon, which I guess, I mean, it's still kind of true, <laughs> but like one step worse from perfection is like not that bad. <laughs> one of the changes is the eyes. I feel like this one's eyes are looking up a lot more. It's fine in vacuum, but for videos, it's kind of weird. Look me in the eyes when you're talking to me. What are you, why are you looking up there, buddy? Yeah, I, I do like this one. I think it's cute. I promise I, I it's just, It'll never be number one in my heart, which is a little sad. And here's the card and the accessory. It's another little leaf. Wait, the water, the water drop was hungry? Huh? It's like saliva? I'm hungry as pet right now, to be honest. So I'm probably gonna try and speed this up a little bit. <laughs> oh, this guy's really cute, but at the same time, it's like he is a bath toy. Not sure about the lightning bolts on the sides. These ones are kind of grainy and it's like kind of weird. I'm really happy to have this mold though. Like, look at the teeth. They're so fun. Oh, the teeth are actually kind of weirdly painted a little bit. Don't look at the teeth. <laughs> and here is the card and the accessory. <laughs> this one does look kind of funny, to be honest. Ooh, I like the eye color. Not sure how much I like it with these colors though. It's all right, I really don't have much to say about this one, to be honest. There's something about these stars with this, it's like very much like kids pajamas, if that makes sense. No, it doesn't at all. Also, I'm not really a huge fan of the weird light pink for the LPS symbol here. It's like, just go with the bright pink like this or the green. I've never had this mold before. It's <laughs> silly. I want to grab it like this and shake it. <laughs> And here's what the card and accessory look like. Ooh. Oh! Yeah. Ugh. I have a bit of mixed feelings on this one. I really like the eye color, but again, the eye color and the body color are kind of eh. Like, I like both, but they kind of don't really go together. I also like this color. I know on the old pictures it seemed a lot more yellow, I think, but I'm really glad it was just the pictures because it being properly yellow would be kind of gross. And then here are these two together. This one has a lot of a looser head, I think. This one's falling over more. Actually, no, they're, that's unfair. It's just falling over more right now. This one, yeah, they're both falling over, right? And here is the card and the accessory. Oh, it's fine. I definitely prefer the mascot version. Also, she has this bit in the nose, which is kind of annoying me. Oh, and also this weird, not sure if it picks up at all, but on the ear, the paint is almost a darker color in this one spot. Like they mixed it weird. It doesn't bother me hugely, honestly. And here are the two of them together. Again, I do prefer this one, but yeah, this one's all right. I do like the purple though. It's a nice color. I actually don't like the fact that this one has the hard eyes though, because like if they're only going to do this sort of like eye gimmick for like the mascot or whatever, like keep it that way. Like either you're gonna give all of them or a bunch of them like these eye gimmicks. If you only did this one, it's like, oh, okay, it's for the mascot. But now that you do this one, it's like, and it just draws attention to the fact that this one's a recolor and it's like, eh. It just, I feel like this one would have been better with just like dot eyes. <laughs> and here's the card. It also comes with this accessory, which is the, the leaf again. Honestly, this picture on the card is actually really adorable though. <laughs> this is actually the last one before I take the other Himalayan cat out of its prison. I really like the eye color. I think the orange is really nice. The coloring kind of reminds me of this G2 blind bag cat, which I actually have, so maybe I could be like mother and daughter or something in some sort of film. I don't know. Again, the, the nose and the white kind of reminds me of clown, but a little, little less clowny than the bunny. Now that I see it in person, like this looked a lot more blue, which would have been like, yeah, that's, that's a clown. Not really a huge fan of this mold overall. I feel like the 
tail is so weirdly tiny. Such an anticlimactic way to end this. <laughs> and it comes with the card and this accessory, which I'm actually really happy about. Yeah, with this, they really did not even put any effort into making this on any sort of scale. Like, she's so big compared to that tree, or is she in front of it? It's like... Okay, I can't really see a way in which I can film this in any, like, aesthetically anything sort of way, so I'm just gonna get this guy out off camera and then compare between it and the other one. This one was a complete nightmare to get out, <laughs> mostly because I'm an idiot. It kind of has a little bit of scuffing on the eye, but it's not usually noticeable. Okay, seeing them side by side, they are quite a bit different in the airbrushing. This one has a lot more and it's a lot lighter color than this one. This one has some weird stuff on the tail. A little bit of missing paint it looks like. Not hugely different, which obviously they're not supposed to be different. Thinking of maybe actually going ahead and painting like this one's paw pads black or something just so I can tell them apart and have both versions, I guess. This is the lineup. A probably should have rethought this a little bit because you can't see any of them, but yeah, there they are. <laughs> My favorites are probably these guys, which is not super surprising. So now the moment you've all been waiting for, the, the smell verdict that I've already kind of spoiled. Uh, it's pretty bad. <laughs> the LPS definitely smell like plastic. Weird plastic. I have a really hard time describing it, but it really, like, I have a pretty bad headache and I'm feeling kind of nauseous. These don't smell like burning chemicals or anything. It's like, I get the same thing if I went into like a bath and body works. Also, like, if you're gonna be weird about that, the fact that I would get a headache from going into Bath Body Works and that kind of thing, then just, like, save it. I'm gonna kill you. 